Hello all, welcome to Trinity Software. Let's see how to find mod for negative numbers in this video. To start with, let's first do it for positive numbers. This modular arithmetic has many applications. In particular, we use this in cryptography for cryptographic algorithms, pseudo random number generators, etc. Now let's uh, start with an example. How to find out 19 mod 5? So the remainder of dividing 19 by 5 is going to be the answer for 19 mod 5. So that can be done with usual division. 19 by 5 you get 3 as the quotient. So 5, 3 is a 15 and remainder is 4. So in this case 19 mod 5 is 4. So we can have a basic definition of a mod n for any two numbers a and n a mod n will return the remainder of dividing a by n the possible reminders when we divide any number by n are from 0 to n minus 1 okay so in this case if you take a mod 5 for any value of a the possibilities of the remainders are from 0 to 4 okay so you can use this formula a can be represented as q star n plus r so where q is the quotient and r is the remainder. So now we can represent a in this case 19 in terms of this formula q star n plus r. So q is our quotient 3 multiplied by n 5 and we get the remainder as 4. So in this way we got 19. 19 mod 5 is 4. This also can be represented in terms of congruence. So we get 19 congruent to 4 mod 5. So when you call A is congruent to B mod N, if and only if N divides A minus B. So this symbol means that it's perfect division, it doesn't give any remainder. So N in this case is 5, A minus B, 19 minus 4, we get 15. So obviously 5 divides 15 perfectly. We will take another example, 127 mod 14. In this case, the possible remainders when you divide it by 14 it will get any number from 0 to 13 so this 127 can be represented as 14 multiplied by the quotient 9 plus remainder 1 so 9 into 14 we get 126 plus 1 so we got 127 so the remainder in this case is 1 127 mod 14 equal to 1 and this again can be represented in, in congruent 127 is congruent to 1 mod 14 and a congruent to b mod n means that b is congruent to a mod n. So you can write in this way also. 127 congruent to 1 mod 14 can be also written as 1 congruent to 127 mod 14. So that's it. Now we can move on to finding out the mod for negative numbers minus 17 mod 10. n is uh, 10 in this case. For 10, the remainder should be any number from 0 to 9. So again we are taking this formula to represent a, a is equal to q star n plus r. Now substitute the values minus 17 equal to q star 10 plus r. Now by multiplying this q star 10 plus r we should get a negative number. So we have to substitute the value of q and r. We just have to check the r value should be a positive number. It can be any number from 0 to 9. r must be a positive number. Since we have to get the final answer as a negative number. The quotient should be a negative number in this case. So you can just multiply 10 with a negative number minus 2. You have to just check what will we get. Minus 2 into 10, we get minus 20. Adding 3 to it, we will get minus 17. So you can ch start checking from minus 1. Minus 1 into 10 plus anything, you will not get minus 17. So I have started with minus 2 into 10 plus 3, we got minus 17. So in this case, the remainder will be just 3. So, minus 17 mod 10, you will get 3. This also can be represented in terms of congruence. Minus 17 is congruent to 3 mod 10. We will take on another example. Minus 24 mod 26. Again, here it is a, a larger number compared to 10. So, the remainder can be any number from 0 to 25. I am representing it using this formula. Minus 24 is equal to Q into 26 plus R. Again, here the quotient should be a negative number. And we get the remainder as such. So here I can just multiply with minus 1. Minus 1 into 26 minus 26 plus 2 will give you minus 24. So that's what we have obtained. The remainder is 2. So it can be represented minus 24 more 26 equal to 2. Also minus 24 is congruent to 
2 mod 26. That's it. This mod operator can be implemented in any programming language. You can make use of percentage symbol to apply this mod to get the reminder. So in Python, I can just uh, verify with this values minus 17 mod 10. So I just give minus 17. The mod operator is this one 10. We got 3 here. Minus 17 mod 10 is 3. And check with the next example. Minus 24 mod 26. We got 2 here. So that's it. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, kindly share and subscribe.